Interpreting Test Results Using the Bauer and Rice Method Prior to interpretation, ensure that all of the pre-analysis quality check steps have been completed and the DVD on Figure 3 has been reviewed for periods of constant discharge. Utilize Figure 4 to estimate the J-ratio and to identify if multiple trends are present due to differing periods of recovering and static groundwater potentiometric surface elevations. After completing these steps, identify the data suitable for analysis by Bauer and Rice that represent a period of consistent J-ratio, excluding both filter pack discharge and periods of constant discharge. Double check that the LNAPL drawdown is calculated from fluid levels representative of equilibrium conditions. Finally, go to the Bauer and Rice tab. The only input on this sheet is the yellow time cut box. Use this to exclude any early time data from the analysis. Most frequently, the time cut is used to exclude early time filter pack discharge identified on the DVD in Figure 3. Find the inflection point between filter pack discharge and formation discharge and note the corresponding LNAPL discharge rate and LNAPL drawdown. Review the data tab to find the time corresponding to this discharge rate and drawdown. Then enter the time on the Bauer and Rice tab in the time cut box. The time cut entry can also be used to exclude constant discharge data if present. If any late time data is present but not suitable for analysis, it must be manually deleted from the data tab. Most frequently, this step is required if there is a change in the water table during the test. The workbook will automatically apply a trend to the data and display the estimated LNAPL transmissivity. Confirm the result with the Bauer and Rice type curve. Additional information on working with the Bauer and Rice type curve tab can be found in the API LNAPL transmissivity user guide, section 7.7.